One of the techniques used in science is column chromatography. And how that worked was you would collect fractions off the column and in the early days that was done with a siphon. And the drops would go into a siphon. When the weight of the siphon got to a certain preset weight, it would tilt, it would empty itself into a test tube, it would tilt back, uh, a little micro switch, a mercury switch would, would send a signal and move on a collecting device that moved another tube underneath the siphon. So you, you collected different fractions from the column. Um, this was all right, but it wasn't very flexible and it had the slight disadvantage that there was some contamination from the siphon from sample to sample to sample. And one of the things that John Lewin again uh, thought um, he could improve this and it was called the drop counting fraction collector technique and he, he developed a, uh, a device called a drop head which had a light source and a photo cell. As the drop from the column went through the hole in the light head it would send a signal and that could be counted on a counter and when it got to a predetermined number of counts a signal was sent to the apparatus that moved the test tubes and it would move to another tube and that had the advantage of being very flexible, you could vary the number of counts, you had no inter-tube contamination, there was no siphon, so it was a better technique and, and the siphons completely went out of use and the drop counting device became commercially available and I think it's used, whether they still use them now or not I don't know, but it, certainly in my time they were used by everybody, nobody was using siphons anymore.